Hey, Shalom, Shalom, mm -hmm. brothers. This is brother Kamama Har here, back at it again. First thing first, I'm going to give all praise to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shah, Bashem, and Kakwadash. Double honor to the apostles and elders on the street from GMS. Blessing to the Aki Madeira preaching his word with whole true sincerity. Blessing to the 144,000, one third entirely, the first fruits kingdom of heaven. Also, David, that be after that Shalom to you, brothers out there speaking different tongues and looking different nations. Shalom to you, brothers. So, um, you know, I pulled to the side, you know, um, you know, from doing my thing, and I wanted to, uh, I came across this article from my from my brother Aria uh, in our little group chat we got with the brothers, and I came up with a nice, nice article. It, uh, you, you guys can see what it is already. Um, okay. So it says, uh, Germany warns of a global famine, and we know through prophecy, um, famine is one of the biggest things, uh, one of the biggest, um, play, I'll say, I, I'll call it a plague, one of the biggest, uh, plagues or disasters that can happen to a, a nation of people or a person in general. We all know that famine is actually the worst way to go out. I mean, you're, you're going to, you're going to want to get shot in the head. Or stabbed up or something. I mean, Stephen stabbed up is pretty pretty fucking rough too. But shot in the head real quick, then then go out on a famine situation when you when you have lack of food. You know what I'm saying? Because famine can can really alter um, a person's whole char character and it, man, being star starv starvation man is pretty pretty tough. And that's why the Lord used it as a, as a, as one of his weapons to prove a point or to uh, uh, you know apply judgment on where he needs to go. Um, it says uh, millions could die because of the pandemic and the ongoing military action in Ukraine. Berlin's development minister believes the world is about to face an acute food crisis due to skyrocketing food prices. German Economic Cooperation and Development Minister Venja Scholes told, about, told the, uh, the Bao newspaper on Saturday warning about a looming famine not seen since World War II. The minister has named the COVID-19 pandemic and the Russia's ongoing military operation in Ukraine uh, as, its, as its causes. Now, it's saying, it's saying, it says warning a, a, uh, never seen since World War II. Now, I don't really know about World War II's famine, but it's obviously a pretty, pretty extensive, pretty, uh, you know, I would, I would assume really, really bad. And uh, they're comparing this coming one with that one, which obviously must be bad. But see, that's the how about was shot because, you know, when the Lord brings a famine, I mean, all famines came of the Lord, but when they were major, major, majorly insanely bad, like kind of like the seven years in Egypt or whatever, you know, this one, this next one, man, I'm willing to bet it's going to, well, no, according to prophecy, this next famine is going to be worse than World War II. It's going to be way worse. So that's pretty, that's pretty interesting, man. It says the situation is highly dramatic. The minister told the German tab tabloid in a late Saturday interview, adding that according to the UN World Food Program, more than 300 million people are already suffering from acute hunger, and the UN has to constantly revise this data of upwards. And see... See, and that's crazy because that's how you know the Lord, the Lord the Lord has this place reserved, which is also a scripture. Because right now in 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 America, you know, there people are not really seeing this yet. You know, like there's food shortages around the nations in, in, in general where we have seen, you know, pictures of uh, or videos of um shelves being like, you know, not even filled at all, or they're pretending to make to make it look like when they pack it up and put it on the shelves and make it look a certain way, make it seem like it's more than what it is and it's not. So those videos and pictures have been going up. My brother Ari actually made a little vid showing the same thing. But at this particular little moment, um, you know, for now on a surface level, you know, you know, um, for what I'm looking at, people are still in um, abundance as, as for the, for the, for the temporary moment. You know, and so this is happening around the world. But what I see is by watching, by watching what's happening around the world just only gives an indication of what America is about to experience. That's pretty much how you really want to look at that. Um, it says uh, 
food prices around the world have grown by a third and, and have reached record levels. Skulls have warned, adding that the bitter message is that we are facing the worst famine since World War II, which could see millions die. And that's prophecy, man. It has to happen that way. Along with two-thirds of our people, the so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Samuel Indians, that don't want to hearken to the word, you know, famine is going to be something that's going to have to have to be done. Um, Let me go to, uh, next, next it says, uh, in its May 6th statement, the World Food Program has warned 44 million people around the world are marching towards starvation because Ukrainian grain, Ukrainian grain cannot reach them. And call for the black seaports to be open so that the, this grain could be delivered in, to the needy. Right. And this little port that's not open right now, you know, this, this is of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah because you can see these things formulating themselves and and and, and for, for prophecy's sake. There, there, there needs to be and there will be a great famine. Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. You know, and it says, Minister Scholes was quick to blame Moscow for the development by accusing Russian President Vladimir Putin of waging a war through hunger. She claimed that Russia had stolen grain from Ukraine and is now taking advantage of nations depending on Russian and Ukrainian agriculture products by, by supposedly offering food only to those who are unequivocally pro-Russian. Yeah, that's, that's what you call power right there. And pretty much, you know... Um, Dominance, man. But it said the scriptures did say that um, you know, this thing was gonna start off with uh the land of Gog and Magog, which is which is Russia. Um, let me go get these, get some precepts. Let me get uh, second address sixteen twenty two. It says, for many of them that dwell upon the earth. Shall shall perish of famine, and other, and the, and the others that escape the hunger shall shall the sword destroy, right? And the dead shall be cast out as dung, and there shall be no man to confront them, for the earth shall be wasted, and the cities shall be cast down. There shall there shall be no man left to till the earth and to sow it. The tree shall give fruit, but who shall gather them, right? Because this famine that's going to come. It's going to wipe out a lot of people and it's going to be bodies just just like laying around everywhere. And that's going to become what you will come. Uh, that, that's going to become what you was, uh, we would call normal. Right. And it says and, it, and and then what it's saying is the trees are going to grow as fruit and, and nobody going to be able to gather them. So it's going to be like a parrot. Well, not a paradise, but it's going to be like as far as it's going to be very fruitful. Um, from the trees and no man going to be able to grab it because there's going to be no man around. And it says, the grapes shall ripen, and who shall tread them? For all places shall be desolate of men, so that one man shall desire to see another and to hear his voice. That's, yeah, that's, 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 that's utter, that's utter loneliness right there. You know, like if you, you desire to see another man, like, you, like, like you're going to be like lonely as shit if you make it that far to even see that process. Right? And that's crazy because, uh, second address six. 22 as well it says and suddenly shall the sown places appear unsown the full storehouses shall suddenly be found empty yeah yeah man it's going to and it's in 23 and the trumpet shall give a sound which every man heareth they shall be suddenly afraid right it's going to get real terrible out the situation man and, and it's going to come from a lack of man, a lack of bread you know in the beginning parts when the lack of bread part is going to be exposing exposing itself, that's where it goes into sedition among men. Matter of fact, I'll bring that out. I'll actually bring that because I'm actually in second address. Um, oh, just in 16, but I want to... Um, wait, wait. Um, Second address 15, starting at 14, woe to the world and them that dwell therein, for the sword and their, and their destruction draweth nigh, and, and, and one man shall stand up and fight 
against another and swords in their hands. For there shall be sedition among men and evading one another. They shall, they shall not regard their kings nor princes and the course of their action shall stand in their power. A man shall desire to go to a city and shall not be able for because of their pride, the cities shall be troubled. Houses shall be destroyed and men sh shall be afraid. A man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but, but shall destroy their houses in a sword with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation. You see that? It's great tribulation to, to not have to, to have a lack of bread. I'm telling you, starvation is something not to fuck with. It really is, cause you gotta think about it on a low level. I mean, me, myself, other brothers, you know, even from time to time, you might be a, you know, you might be around a brother or another another person in the world, and say something really typical that they can satisfy at the moment, and say, "Hey, man, yo, man, hungry as shit, man. What you about to eat on, bro? Yeah, yeah I'm thinking about getting a salad from 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 uh, Salad Works, man. What you thinking? You know what I mean? Cool, yeah, I'm hungry than the motherfucker, bro. But see, boom. So getting hungry is a normal thing. But it's not normal to be hungry long term. It's not. I mean, people people experience it. But, hey, man, when there's no food around, oh, man. Mm -mm -mm. Now, that's when things get real. And, and brother talk about it all the time. You know what I mean? You see what it just said. 19, I think, I believe is the point. Not even I believe. I know it's the point. Because remember, because in the article I just brought out, that, the, that there's going to be 44 million this and that strong hunger like hung, like hunger is about the yeah man a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor but shall destroy their houses with the sword and spoil their goods because of the lack of bread and for great tribulation yeah Jeremiah 16 Chapter 3, it says, For thus saith Yahweh Shemalshah concerning the sons and concerning the daughters that are born in this place, and concerning their mothers that bear them, and concerning their fathers that beget them in this land. They shall die of deep, grievous deaths. They shall be not they, they shall not be lamented, neither shall they be buried, but they shall be as dung upon the face of the earth, and they shall be consumed by the sword and by famine. And their carcasses shall be meat for the fowls of the heaven and, and for the beasts of the earth. Yeah, man. Like we just read, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, it's, it's not going to be nowhere to go during uh, Jacob's trouble. Uh, uh, this is a lot of this is going to happen, happen in that same time frame where it's going to be a constant move because it's going to be danger in every corner, let alone with famine. And because of the famine, it's also going to uh, have dangerous people around hungry looking for food not to mention the scripture talk about cannibalism too right don't forget about that so imagine a nation of a, a, a nation of people right all hungry at the same time and then it gets so bad that that that, that they start looking at each other like ass food that increases the danger even more so now you gotta avoid people because you you, you don't know if they're gonna try to kill you just to eat you you feel what i'm saying like yo man when the Lord says it's going to be like a time never seen before, that makes a lot of sense, especially from the cannibalism part by itself. Right. Remember, that, the love of many shall wax cold. Yeah. That lack of tribulation is going to have people tripping, tripping. That's going to be all how about Shemiah is doing. You know what I mean? Just say they shall die grievous deaths. What's one grievous death that was that's on the, that's on the menu is that damn famine, man. That's a grievous death to die slow like that. Because, man, when you hungry, oh, man. Especially the, especially the part where, 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 you start, where, 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 where you start getting so hungry that you start losing power and energy. And you're no longer strong anymore and you're getting weaker. So then you get weaker and weaker. And then you just can't move that much. And you got to just rush. Whoa, yeah, hey, look. Hmm. Then you start getting skinny like a twig. You start losing crazy weight because the, cause the, cause the, the fat storage just has been used up in the body. Yeah, man. Shoot, it's, it's going to be a lot of fat people skinny in those days. That's coming up really, really soon, too. Motherfucker's probably like 280 pounds solid or fat. 
and go through a famine and drop 70 pounds in like probably like in a I don't even know like one and a half to two months that's if you can survive matter of fact let's do this According to Healthline, these studies have uncovered several observations about starvation. An article in Archive for Criminology states the body can survive for 8 to 21 days without food and water and up to two months if there's access to an adequate water intake. Modern day hunger strikes have provided insight into starvation. Aha. Uh -huh. So 8 to 21 days and two months if there's, if there's any water around. So you gotta think that two month time for time time span and water is not really good actually um it's not satisfying when you're hungry for, for some reason when you drink water when you're like really really hungry it does something to the stomach that just not the, 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 like it, like it, it, it don't feel good it don't so but it says eight to 21 days without food okay and it would award and take two so you gotta think a 280 pound fat person can most likely lose 60, 70 pounds of, 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 of body weight due to no food by itself. Hey, that's, a, that's some fasting for your ass right there. And if you want to lose weight because you can't stop eating, maybe this famine is good for you. That was a joke and seriousness at the same time. You know? What is that? Um... Yep. It says Jeremiah 15, starting at the top. It says, Then said Yahweh Bashim Yahweh said uh, unto uh, no. Then said the Lord Yahweh Shah, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah unto me. Though Moses and Samuel stood before me, yet my mind could not be toward this people. Cast them out of my sight and let them go forth. And it shall come to pass that if they say unto thee, Whither shall we go forth? And then and then thou shalt tell them, Thus saith Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Such as are for death to death, and such as are for the sword to the sword, and such as are for the famine to the famine, and such as are for the captivity to the captivity. Mm. All because, all because, you know, two thirds of our people don't want to hearken to the Lord, and you got you got Edomites, which are the wicked. That's Provoking our people to follow their ways and not Yahabashim Yahushah. So therefore, there must be a great famine coming. And it says three, and I will appoint over them four kinds, saith the Lord. The sword to slay, the dogs to tear, the fowls of the heaven, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Yeah, man. Now, when I read something like this, I don't want to get off topic, but think about it like this. There's there's obviously going to be a moment in time where the Lord is going to is going to it's going to it's going to turn a switch on like, you know, spiritually, I'm saying. But like on flip a switch through 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 the spirit of power of Yahweh Shah. And it, there and 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 there's going to be spirits on all these animals that's going to be that's going to be wanting to just destroy. Kind of like a uh, sand lot. At first that was a demon dog. But imagine a dog like that, that just all every time they see somebody, they just they just, they just, they just want to rip, 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 you know, rip you to pieces. Now imagine this. Now imagine, like, uh, shoot, if, it, if it's a famine like that, that means an animal is gonna be filled some type of way. So you gotta look at, you know, like, imagine like squirrels, chipmunks, rabbits, lions, dogs, cats, the whole nine. Yo, your dogs are your dogs and the animals are going to turn against. Imagine all the animals are just are just spiritually anybody without that mark. Was that was that uh, called the Dua? I think the or the Dua believer the, the mark of redemption spoken of in Ezekiel nine and four for the uh, place a mark on the foreheads for the ones who are that, that are assigned and crying for the abominations that, that that's done in the midst of. So like, so those brothers gonna be cool. So it's gonna be animals running around them brothers, going after anybody without the mark, because because the Lord gonna put a spirit 
um, on, on, on these angels to go and go and, and go make and, you know make things happen. You know, and imagine the whole society of animals just attacking at one time. Like, oh man, see that's that's why that's why it makes sense now. It's a time like never seen before, because you gotta look at it from a, a perspective of like. You know, strange apparitions and just weird shit going on that just don't normally happen in the history of, of mankind. Like, anybody never seen beasts like that. No, nobody, not, not everybody seen the, the entire population of animals just want to destroy shit. Like, that. that's, man, that's some nightmare shit right there. That's some nightmare shit. It kind of sounds like Amos 5 and 19, don't it? As a bear, as a man fleeing from a lion, um... Then a bear met him, or, or did he go into a house and lean his hand on the wall and a serpent bit him? Shall not the day of the Lord be darkness and not light? No darkness in it and no brightness in it. Roughly paraphrasing. So, you know, hey, man, not to mention you combining the famine with it. Animals going to be hungry as shit. They, man, they're going to see a human and be like, I don't care what you can do to me. I don't care if you're going to beat this battle. I'm going to try to take it to your ass, and I'm going to need that off you, brother. I'm going to need that flesh off you. If you get me, if you step on me and I lose, cool, but I'm going to try. That's scary. All because of famine, man. These animals going to be hungry as shit too, man. Woo. It says, it says, and I will point over them, Jeremiah 15 and 3, and I will point over them four kinds, saith the Lord. The sword to slay, boom, Esau and other, other people killing each other, cool. The dogs to tear. You know, getting bit up by a dog ain't good, man. That's some painful shit. And it says, remember, dogs go for the neck first a lot, too. Like, that's what they're going to go for, right? For that neck. And they get a hold of that neck, and they start gripping that jaw and start pulling off and pulling away. Yeah, that thing coming out. Yeah, that thing's coming out. And it says, in the fowls of the heaven. So you got birds getting busy. Just imagine big-ass falcons and eagles just and owls just wanting to just destroy shit. That shit's crazy. All because of famine and not the spirit of the Lord. And then it says, and the beasts of the earth to devour and destroy. Yo, squirrels are beasts. Lions are beasts. Cats are beasts. You know? You know, raccoons and opossums. And imagine just a fleet of animals just don't give a fuck. Oh shit, man! That that shit. Oh man, yeah, it's about to get real bad out here, man, because of this famine, man. This famine is going to really do some. This famine is going to really uh, 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 set a chain reaction that's just going to just spill over to other 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 categories, man. And not to mention, then you got to think about the cleverness of a human. You know, the psycho humans who are definitely hungry and they want to eat you because a human is a beast too. So, you know, you know the scripture's called a beast, you get, what, a creature, same thing. Yeah, even humans going to be using their cunning brains to get you out of there. Hey, man, that article was, a, I wanted to bring an article out, brothers, you know, I wanted to give that a quick a quick hit. I brought this out as edifying to you, brothers, man, Lord willing, I'm going to give all praise and honor and glory to Yahweh, by Shem Yahweh Shah, by Shem Kakwadash. Yahweh, he is to be, exists by Shem in the name, and the only begotten Son, the Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shah, by Shem in the name, and the only and, uh, and, the, and the Holy Spirit of a cock with dash. Double honor, double honors, and apostles and elders on the truth from GMS. Blessing said, Aki, my dear, preaching his word with heart true sincerity. Blessing said, 144,000, one third entirely. The first fruits, kingdom of heaven, house of David, double yaf, double da. And shall I want to you, brothers out there, speaking different tongues and looking at different nations? Shall I want to you, brothers? Damn, we read it like that, man. That's just like.